We've been waiting for months, and finally the consultants have finished their recommendations to update the master plan at Old Dominion University. Now, the report encompasses dozens of projects over the next 20 to 30 years. But as a sports guy, tops on my list, a brand new 30,000 seat on campus football stadium, which sources told the Virginian pilot would be built on the site of the 35 year old Palatan Village apartments near the Elizabeth River. What should we expect? Well, Nathan Epstein joins us tonight with his opinion. Nathan? Well, Bruce, it took $24.9 million to renovate SB Ballard Stadium before 2009. According to the Virginian pilot, it would cost more than that to renovate again. So the question is, would Old Dominion receive a better return for their investment in a new stadium? So we took a look around ODU's new conference, Conference USA, to get an idea of what Monarchs fans could expect to see in the future. SB Ballard Stadium seats just over 20,000 fans. That's 20,000 seats less than the average capacity of the remaining 15 schools that currently make up Conference USA. Florida Atlantic University spent $70 million for their 29,000 seat home that just opened in 2011, while North Texas put up $78 million for a 30,000 seat stadium, also opened two years ago. The University of North Carolina in Charlotte closely resembles ODU. As the Monarchs restarted their program in 2009, the 49ers will play their first season of football this fall and in their brand new $40.5 million, 29,000 seat stadium. If officials decided on a new home field, they certainly have a bargaining chip. Since restarting, ODU is 38 and 10, 22 and 7 at Foreman Field, and have sold out every single home game. Now take the University of Memphis, who just left Conference USA for what used to be called the Big East. Similar enrollment of 22,000, 61,000 seat stadium, only nine wins and 39 losses in that same span with an average attendance of just over 11,000 in 2012. The Monarchs, meanwhile, have a winning program to sell. Still yet to be seen. What was presented to the Board of Visitors was just a draft. So the board also briefed Norfolk City Mayor Paul Frame today and now begins a long evaluation. The decision is not expected until December at the earliest. And I'm Nathan Epstein for the Sports Wrap.